bitch, that just came to play it back, yeah Baby, let me tell you, you so fine, you so sexy, yeah Baby, let me tell you, you a dime, baby, let's be friends I can spend this money on the time if you let me what is up everybody it's your boy king boys productions and i am back at it with another reaction video so today i'm here with lil tj leaked a uh, remix official video featuring lil wayne so i was like oh when i saw this i was just like i was just kind of scrolling through youtube you know that's what i do when i don't know like songs that dropped or anything that like really dropped and i was like uh i was like what am i gonna do i was like should i just wait on videos man and just wait ne till next week and just post like a couple extra videos or something like that but I was like, you know what, I gotta put up some videos for you guys. Like, even though today's videos, like, I don't know about this song. This song might be really good. I haven't I haven't listened to it yet. But like the first video I did that was like the best rap songs of 2019. If you guys saw that, um, you'll kinda know what I'm talking about, but a few of the songs on the video and a few like the video started off pretty good but then it just got so like the songs in it just did not I, songs that i never heard of before and it was just getting to a point where i was like all right we're just done with this then the last video was the new drake song and i just didn't like it at all and i felt i felt a little bad because it's like i i hate not liking a song and putting out a video because like i feel like i don't give it the same energy as i do like a song that i like and i so like i feel bad for putting it out but I feel like you guys would want to see it anyway, and like I would. It's one of those things where I I don't have anything anything else I want to react to right now. Like there's no other videos that I've seen that I've been like, oh, I I, I want to react to this. So it's like, do I put do I put out a video that might not be like my classic style, or do I just say fuck it and don't post any? And I assume that you guys would be like, eh, just post it. You know, like if we don't like it, you know, that's all right. You know, it's okay if I have one video that maybe tanks or whatever. That's okay, man. So. I figured you guys might want to see it, so I just posted. I'm going to post it anyway. But we'll see about this song, Lil TJ Leaked featuring Lil Wayne. This is a remix, so let's go. This little carnival shit. Oh, baby girl shaking her ass next to the carnival sign. Little camel? Why is there a camel? Wait, I think I heard this song before. I might have heard the original before. I, uh, this beat sounds familiar, like the little dum dum, dum dum, dum dum. Let me hear the chorus and then I'll know. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Wayne said I'm coming in right away. He said, treat that pussy like a house. She want insurance. Oh my God. One time, let her unwind. She gonna tell me where to come at. I'm gonna come fly. Put my thumb up in her. Yeah, yeah. She gonna jump by. Yo, this is why I love fucking Lil Wayne, man. He said, she tell me where to come. And I said, I'd come ply. Like when you comply to something is like when you like agree to something. So she's like, she tells him to come somewhere. He's like, I'll, I'll come ply. <laughs> and then he says, I, I'd stick my thumb in her woohoo and she jumped high. Like he was like some poop. She was like, whoa. <laughs> Damn, I almost, almost broke this fucking chair doing that shit. <laughs> She's like, whoa. He's like, yeah. He just went, poop. <laughs> hey. Natural beauty, I'ma call her mother. I'ma call her mom, mother nature. Whatever he said, but yo. Huh? Huh? I got it leaking like a bootleg. She said she a virgin, it's hurting. She never showed me love with my pockets hurting. Now she's seeing nigga, oh, she fucking and slurping. And they see me putting on and they got them nervous. Well, never they got the, the not these fools, but they got these little sexy clowns chilling, dancing. Yeah. Ain't nobody be scared of clowns if they're looking like that. You ain't no competition, boy. Don't think you want to do that. Oh, yeah, I have heard this song. Where have I heard this? Twitter, maybe? 
time, maybe two times, and she do fine. Making full mind, I'm in the studio, this my new grind. I'm cooking up, I'm cooking up, and trying to lose time. Hey, they kind of killing that little dance right here. Hold on, but we gotta go back to this. I'm cooking up, I'm cooking up, and trying to lose time. Dude, he was killing that little, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was killing that. Don't give a fuck, trying to lose my gang, man. Growing up, I was staying gang, staying gang. Promise I was only trying to maintain. Little TZSB, that's the gang, gang. Ask about me, but they tell you how my name is. I know they go ahead, cause I'm up now. I'm at the point This location is cool as fuck, though. This, like, I mean, they probably built this up, but this little carnival shit that they have, this shit is cool looking. Like, the little foggy ass, like, um, these look like lights that they probably like put like a fog machine on, but the little like circus and shit. It's cool. Hey, I'm, up now. I'm at the point where I don't really give a fuck now. Free the guys, I'ma see it till they touch down. One day everybody have a bust down. So skin up the scene in the foreign see me go. Oh, she telling his future? Yo, shout out Lil TJ though, for real. Yo, that's crazy though that Lil TJ was able to get like a feature from Lil Wayne. Like, that's cool, man. I'm I'm proud I'm proud of homie. I knew he was gonna be big when I saw him perform on stage. I saw it like a. I think I said this before, but I, uh, when, um, I can't even speak. When Juice World went on concert in, like, the last, his Death Race for Love concert, um, he brought out an art, a different artist at, like, each city. So, like, it was, like, a, it was called, like, the Lyrical Lemonade, like, Superstar or something like that. So, he had, like, I think he had Y and, I think he had Y and B, or y, YBN, Namir. I think he had YBN Namir at some. I think he had, uh, Matt Ox. I think he had... Blueface at some, and then little TJ. And at first, I was like, little TJ. I'm like, damn it, man. Could we get? I wanted to get like Blueface. To be honest, like, like as much as people want to hate on Blueface, I feel like he's just a fun, fun guy to be on stage. So I was like, I kind of wanted Blueface, but he was only going to the West Coast shows, probably because he lives on the West Coast. Um, but anyway, little TJ came out, and he actually like his songs were kind of fire. I was like, who is this guy? And so I started listening to some of his stuff, and I really have liked it. But um, yeah, he put on a good show too. So, and he only had a few songs that he got. But it's cool that Lil Wayne actually like is with him now. Oh. I don't get people. Okay, I saw this little snake here, and like, I honestly do not understand how people can hold snakes. Like, I cannot. There's no way in fucking hell. I got. Maybe I could like hold the snake like, uh, but like by its head. I don't want to touch it by its head. I don't want to grab like its neck or whatever. Like I guess it doesn't really have a neck. It's a snake, but like I don't want to grab close to its head, to where that bitch can go and like bite my shit. Cause like if I'm hell holding him right here and his little head's like dangling, he can just be like Ksh! I like ah. But like I know like some snakes snakes are like trained and shit to not bite people, but like still, bro, I don't want to be. I don't want to hold this little slimy ass snake. <laughs> Whoever did the wardrobe on this video is fire too. That shit was fire. But it's on my computer screen. Yeah, I liked it, man. Like I said, I really like little TJ's music. I really think he's he's gonna be popping off soon. Like really, really popping off. Like I think, like he has a couple songs that um went popular on TikTok, um which is like like literally like as much as people want to criticize TikTok and want like I was one of the ones that hated on it at first but like I low key like it like it's fun it's a funny app you know there's a lot of funny people on it is it as good as Vine it's like classic classic like relatable posts not as much because like I feel like the <clears throat> I feel like the 6 second like comedy that was on Vine was just like unmatched because it's like you have to be super funny because it's like 6 seconds there's no build up to a joke you have to like go 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 and joke like on TikTok, it's like you, you, most videos are at least 15 seconds. You can have up to a minute on TikTok. So it's like, <clears throat> sometimes videos, like the building up to a joke is just too fucking long and it's just like, nope. So, but a lot of his songs have gotten popular on that app. I think that might be where I heard this song originally. I think I heard the part where he goes, what the fuck going on? I think that part might've been on TikTok, but then he had, um, 
I can't remember the name of the other song, but it's like, I think it's time to shine. I've been waiting so long. Whatever that song is, that part, that one went famous on TikTok too. And it's like, yo, like this, like as much as people want to hate on this app, like this could really build your career. Like going on this app, if your song goes viral on here, like there's been a couple songs from TikTok that I've been like, what is this? And I and I look it up and I find it. And then I like, like it's on my playlist now. Like now I listen to this song like on the regular and like, I might start listening to some of their other stuff too when they drop in and stuff like that. So, like, a, there's a couple people on there that I'm like, damn, this this guy's kind of talented. So I'm, I want to listen to more of his shit, and then it gets his other songs popular. So, like, I, if as much as people want to hate on the app, man, it's it's really gonna help a lot of people's careers out. Like, I feel like Vine did a little bit, but like, you can't have as much as the, of the song. So people might not like be able to find it or to be able, to, like, the way TikTok is. Usually, you can like see the song at the bottom. And it says, like, what song it is. So you can just go right to the Spotify or Apple Music and you can find it right away. So, but, yeah, follow your boy on TikTok if you don't already. It's King Boys Productions on TikTok. I'll be posting some singing vids. I'm going to be honest. You know, your boy can sing a little. I, I posted a little rapping video today. People were liking it. Um, so, yeah, follow your boy on there. Um, I'm going to be uh, posting on there, posting on here, man. I'm just going to keep posting, posting away, man, because... You know, you know, I'm trying to make it big. 2020, I'm trying to like, I want 2020 to be the year that I just explode onto the scene here, and that's that's my ultimate goal is to, um, obviously, you know, we're still sitting at about we're like almost at 4,000 subscribers, which is crazy because we just hit 3,000 like last month or so. So like, I gained I'm like I gained almost a thousand subscribers this month. So like, and that's probably because one of my TikToks blew up and people started to follow me from there, but like. Uh, I just want to keep growing, man. So make sure y'all leave likes on these videos. Make sure y'all comment, even if it's some, even if it's just something stupid, you know, like even if it's just like first or what, you know, that bullshit, like or if it's like a fire emoji or something, you know, just like if y'all if y'all could just help me out, like leave the like and leave some comments, you know, even leave multiple if you want, you know. I usually like, I look at the comments a lot, so like I'll probably like give it a heart or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's it's like a way to help. Um, promote the videos if you don't know how youtube works it's like it gets if you get likes get a lot of comments it pushes it out it doesn't matter how many views you get i guess it kind of does but like if you get hella likes if people are liking your video a lot they'll send it out to others because they're like oh a lot of people like this and you liked similar stuff to what they liked so they're gonna throw this to you and that's how it's gonna help me grow my channel man so um so yeah man follow me on all my social medias man follow me on the on the gram twitter um tiktok <laughs> um follow me on I think that's all I got. I mean, I have a Snapchat, but that's that's personal. I don't really want like a ton of fans on there. I might make a, maybe if I if I start getting bigger, maybe I might do like a public snap. But I don't know. I, I'm probably I'm gonna leave my Snapchat kind of private for now. So, um, but yeah. So I have two. I have like three Instagrams, but you can follow my personal if you want. But I'm not gonna follow you back back on my personal. I might follow you back on King Boys Productions. Um, I might follow you back on KBP Clips. Um, but I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to follow you, but probably not going to follow you back on King boys, uh, or on King underscore 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 boys. That's my personal Instagram. Probably not going to follow you back on there. Um, but I will follow you, but pro I'll try to follow a lot of people back on my Insta, my King boys productions, Instagram and my KBP clips. Um, I haven't posted on KBP clips in a while and that's just because like, I've just been busy, man. I've been busy with a lot of shit. So like. I don't know, like, I, I know what, what clips are funny and stuff, and I know I, I need to post some, so, but I usually go through videos and just find a clip that I think, that I think is funny, and I post it, so, um, if, I mean, if you have, like, I'll say this right now, if you have an idea for a, for a clip from that, or for that account, like, clip something, like, clip a vi clip part of the video and send it to me, if, it, if it's, like, even if it's not high quality, I can go find it myself, you know, like, I'll go find it myself and clip that, if you think that part's funny, like, Send, let me know. Let me know. And I'll post it on my KBP Clips account. Because if, like, people think it's, like, if my subscribers, if y'all think it's funny, then it might be funny to other people. So I might post it on the KBP Clips. So I'm sorry for talking for so long. Um, Thank you guys again, man. Uh, I think the next time we'll post is 20, uh, 2020. So um, hope everyone has a good new year. Be safe out there. Um, don't do anything fucking stupid on the last day of the year. Um. If you go out to a party or something and you dr you're drinking or anything like that, yo, just make sure you get a ride, man. There's Uber, there's Lyft, you can get a taxi probably. Um, 
you know, if it's like a friend's house, maybe just stay the night. Even if your parents are going to be mad in the morning because you stay the night, just stay the night, man. Deal with the consequences in the morning. Don't fucking drive drunk, man. That shit is just stupid. It's stupid as hell. You're going to not only hurt, you could not only hurt yourself, but you could hurt someone else, ruin someone's fucking life, man. And it's, and it's not fucking worth it, man. Don't do that shit. That shit is not cool. It's not cool. It doesn't make you cool. It doesn't make you like, oh, I drunk drove home. I guess and I made it. It must be. No, fuck that, man. That shit ain't cool, bro. It ain't cool. It doesn't make you cool. It doesn't make you a cool guy because you, you drove home drunk. That shit ain't cool. So um, make sure you just, you know, you find a ride, you know, or get, make sure you have a DD before you go. Um, the one friend, you know, there's always that one friend. I'm the one friend in most groups, but the friends that don't really drink that much or don't drink at all. Get that person and be like, yo, you mind? Could you mind, mind giving me a ride home? Maybe toss them a couple bucks or something for gas, like a five five ball. Because if they live around, like near you, you can be like, yo, I'll toss you five. Can you give me a ride home after the party? And they'll probably be like, yeah. And most of the time, like, honestly, when people offer money, like, a lot of the time, I'm just like, nah, that's good. Because, like, I think it's, like, nice the thought of just being like, yo, I will give you money. You know, here you go. You can have some money because. I know it costs, you know, money for gas and shit like that. But uh, usually for the most part, at least me, I'm like, nah, you're good, man. You don't you don't need to pay me gas money. But, like, the offer is usually nice, so. But, st man, just like I said, be safe, man. Don't do anything fucking stupid. And hope everyone has a great, you know, 2020, man. Like, I'm, I'm wishing nothing but success for everyone in 2020. And KBP, we're just going to keep going up, baby. We're not going down. We're going back up. We're going to keep posting every single fucking week, bro. Unless nothing comes out, then we're not posting. But let's go. 2020 is our year. Okay, 2020, year of KBP. Let's get it. And until next time, it's your boy. Oh, let me say this. <laughs> Should I say the corny shit? Until next year. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that. But until 2020, it's your boy, King Boys Productions. Squaw. I'm going to do my thing and they know. They know. They know. They know. Yeah, I just want the cream and they know.